As mentioned before, bidirectional path tracer can use only CPU. You won't get also the possibility to use the tiled option. Set your computing device to GPU and GPU devices will show up. This is the list of your OpenCL calculation units. You can make sure that your device is recognized and disable or enable it. CPU devices allows you to choose the number of threads used for rendering. AutoDetect will use always maximum cores available. If you are rendering something longer, like an animation for example, it may be a good idea to set used cores to fixed and leave a few free. It will allow you to still work on your PC during the rendering. You have also a tiled option that may be tempting for Cycles users. Unfortunately, it limits look score performance. The render is slower and it doesn't support add light tracing option, so it is not suitable for more complex scenes. The only performance advantage is lower RAM consumption, so you should use it only if you don't have enough RAM. You can choose tile size, what is expressed in pixels, and AA samples, so anti-aliasing samples. Higher anti-aliasing will lead to higher RAM consumption. The nice thing about this way of rendering is that you can see how the engine is deciding where it should focus the calculation power. It is basing on the noise threshold, so you can see what parts of the image produce way more noise than the others. Multipass will decide if engine has to render more passes or stop at just one. If enabled, it will refine image till the noise threshold will be reached. After the warm-up, engine will reduce noise threshold whenever tiles will pass the convergence test, which is checking how similar noise level at every tile is. Luxco offers two different types of denoising. BCD is not working correctly at the moment, but is already fixed and it will work fine with the next release. So I will skip this one and come back to the subject when the issue will be solved. The most commonly used is OIDN, so Open Intel Denoiser that was integrated in Blender 2.81. The efficiency of this denoiser is well known and you probably will use it as a default option. We can change max memory setting to limit RAM consumption. Don't worry if you need to cut it, as quality won't suffer at all. If your image will not fit inside given RAM capacity, it will be cut in parts and each part will be denoised separately. The noising will be applied after rendering will be finished. There is a very handy refresh option that will allow you to decide if you should stop your rendering now or wait a few samples more. Go to the image editor and hit F12 to start rendering. Change the view from combined to denoised and then hit the refresh button. Rendering will stop for a moment and image will be denoised. After that engine will continue to render. You can check the image and decide if the effect is satisfying or you need to wait a little bit more. You can repeat this as many times as you need. Same as before, I encourage you to leave the question in the comment section and if you don't have any, leave the thumb up. See you in the next part.